Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're doing something we've never done before. We're having a pop-up meet, but not any pop-up meet. We're having one in Japan, one of the most epic spots you could imagine. A parking area in the middle of Tokyo called... Daikoku PA. Michael set up a flyer a few days ago. We posted on social media and we're a little worried about how many people are going to show up. Yeah, initially we weren't <laughs> expecting it to like be too crazy, but we've had what, like maybe 15 people come up to us at the auto salon. At the auto salon. Like, oh, we heard about the meet, so... We're a little nervous. The parking area has been shut down every night during Auto Salon, so we're doing it in the morning, 11 a.m. We're gonna see who shows up. Yeah, we're gonna see some sick cars, so uh, get ready. <laughs> How cool is it to be here at Coco PA? This is insane. I've only <laughs> seen this in videos and I didn't actually think it existed, but here I am. The infamous sights of the interchange all around this spot here. This is a parking area near downtown Tokyo and there's room for about 300 some cars and it's about full. But there's a lot of people over here filming cars rolling in and it's a lot of fun to watch them rolling out and accelerating back up the on-ramp. It's also very confusing to get here. If you take the wrong exit, it can cost you 20 bucks, but you have to go back around, back through the tolls. But uh, there's some wild cars here. Let's go see what we're looking at. There's a fox body. What? What the hell? I'll be damned. <laughs> Did not think I'd see a fox body here in Japan. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, nice to meet you guys. Good What's to meet you. Sebi. Sebi. I drive uh, this thing right behind you. Oh, yeah. yeah. What is it? This is a Nissan Laurel. Oh. I would have never guessed yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a Chaser. I know. This is like Nissan's answer to the What chaser. engine do they have in this? This, this one has an RB25 Neo Turbo. And it's white. There's a lot of white cars here in Japan. Yeah, because like that. that's... Yeah, here that's their racing color. Like in the States, ah, ours is red, theirs is white. Okay, so that's that why sense. all their sports cars are like all bags. white. That's badass. Here you go. Thank you. Nice, Thank you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is sweet. Ooh, look at all the Ferraris. Looks like they're rolling out. Thank you guys. We need the parking spots. <laughs> it's 40 degrees out here right now. This guy's putting the top down. He's hardcore. on this R35. Oh, look at the pearl on the 600 LT. Bad ass. <coughs> pearl white R34. I want a white R34 so bad. Every time I see one of these here, ugh, just drooling. Oh, look at this. Kaido racer cars. There's a whole group of them over, over here. <laughs> What? There's four, but that's, there's more over here too. I've, I've been told, I thought these are called Bozo Suko cars, and maybe they are, but a bunch of people online were saying these are called Kaido racers. I don't know one way or another, but the style on these cars is so unique. You get the, I think it's like an oil cooler up on the front, the big extended front end, the crazy pipes out the back. It's a very unique style you pretty much only see here in Japan, and there's a bunch of them here. Look how tall these exhaust pipes are. I'm six feet tall, it's over six feet tall. The crowns. I've seen a lot of these style of wings too, where it's got the two posts out the middle of the, the trunk lid. <laughs> yes, I've been wanting to hear that. All right, got to. <laughs> really started. What is this? I think this is a similar style bike. So the reason the police show up here apparently is because when the parking lot fills up over here, people park in the 18-wheeler spots 
and as you can see they're circling around trying to get people to move and they're about to go this is gonna be really cool to see them roll out here going around as they're leaving it's just echoing everywhere oh I got goosebumps again what a cool experience this is <laughs> AMS hat yeah it worked on your car oh no way <laughs> yeah yeah what's, what's your name Matt Matt that's right I was an engineer at AMS Benetti's scouting another spot in case we run out of spots so oh, it's yeah it's up. he'll be back so he'll be okay. back don't worry all right <laughs> good to see you guys yeah. <laughs> It's great meeting people from all over. And he worked on my R8. Pretty awesome. Ah, Hokuska. There's two of them here. And I learned the other day I was mispronouncing it. I was pronouncing it Hokosuka. It's actually Hokuska. And there's two of them here. The first GTR ever made. And up until today, I've only seen three. Up until I came to Japan, I've only seen one. And here's another one right here. Both of them in silver. Both extremely beautiful. I would love to own one of these. They look like a great Japanese classic car right here. I would love to drive one of these, see what they're like. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? It's a hard convertible S15. I've never seen one of these. Weird. Yeah, I'm about to open the, open the roof. Yeah, I want to yeah, see that. Yeah, I was yeah, just going to ask. That's cool. Are these rare? Yeah, for sure. Only, only one ton I'm made. How many? Only 1,000 made. 1,000? Yeah, made originally. And I've never seen this before. The biggest point for this guy, it's completely factory stock. And only one owner from yeah, the family. It's really nice back here, too. Yeah, I've heard that it's a special edition. Obviously, because I've never seen one. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. How bad for a 27 year old car, huh? Wow. I don't even recognize it from the I side don't now. either. I would never even guess this is an S15 now. <laughs> I get to meet you. How you doing? Kaiza. How you doing? Good. We meet in Japan. I love your work. Thank you, you so much. You're amazing. Um, thank you so much. If you haven't checked this guy out yet, yeah. plug your Instagram. Uh, the Kaiza. The underscore Kaiza? Yes. The underscore. Check this guy's workout. I mean, it is mind blowing. Look at it better than I am. How's your time in Japan so far? I loved it. Yeah, I loved it was a little stressful figuring things out at first, like where to go, yeah, when, yeah, and. Same. It's, it's, it's hard to drive like, yeah. places. It's, yeah. Uh, it's figuring out it's where, amazing you are, here. where you can go, where you can't go. The language is a little stressful. Yeah. Most of it's translated everywhere, but you know, Google Translate on your phone. Google Translate is great. Yeah, you speak to it, someone else speaks to it Japanese. And you, yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, well, it's awesome to meet you, man. Very nice to meet you okay. as well. Honestly, enjoy the rest of your trip. Okay, now I see why you're distracted. Is does this come with a 13B? Is that right? Yeah, this comes with a two it's rotor a Cosmo. engine. This is a first gen Cosmo. This is like this is the first production car with a rotary engine in it. Crazy. I, I never in thought I'd, I never thought I would see this ever. Where's the owner? Do you see him? He walked that way. Ah, oh, dang. Little red for us. Another one of a thousand right here. <laughs> what the hell? 
We just saw another convertible S15 over here. This is this there's is another one. Bike. No, there's another one. This is sick. There's three. What? Dude. There's three convertibles out of a thousand in the parking lot here at Daikuku PA. <laughs> the Grand Theft Auto car effect is in full effect. Uh, look at the cars here. It's just wow. What a great place to be. <laughs> the first guy that came and introduced yeah. us said that that's his grabber blue Mustang. Look what we spotted. 1320 sticker. We've seen two shirts, two hoodies so far here in Japan. And it's it's so cool to see merch here in a different country. I, I love it. Thank you guys so much. Speaking of merch, make sure to check out our JDM Dreams shirt and hoodie. We just dropped it recently. You can get that on our website. The link's down in the description below. What kind of car is this? This is a Nissan Liberty with the SR20 DET. Really? Yeah. Is it swapped into it or it no, came with it? factory. What? Yeah. That's cool. Nissan Liberty. Oh yeah, look at that. SR20 inside. <laughs> yeah. Let me give you a sticker. It'll look good on here. For sure. Yeah. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Come check it out. Yeah. Shit, just Nissan Liberty. Got the Jimmy. Oh, dude, you're there awesome. You What's your name? David, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Kyle. These jimmies are everywhere here. This would be a fun thing, fun car to lift and thrash through the mountains here in Japan. I got another car I haven't seen before, I don't think. What is this? It's a 1985 Mitsubishi Minica. Okay, I have seen Minicas. I think in Australia, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Interesting. They were sold in Taiwan also as like the, the Mitsubishi Townie. Ah, interesting. Yeah. What year is it? 85. 85, all right. It's... It looks like a Festiva. A little bit. I, I actually have a few uh, JDM Festivas. Oh, do you? Yeah. They made, J like... What's... Yeah, right-hand drive. If it's right-hand drive, it was made in Japan by Mazda. What? If it's left-hand drive, it's made in Korea. I had no idea. Yeah, I've got... I've got, like, a few at my shop. That's badass. Well, thank you. Thank you. Here oh, you go. Thank you, man. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate your name? it. Tommy. Nice to meet you, Nice Kyle. to meet you, yep. Oh, don't worry. I know who you are. <laughs> if yeah. you if you want, that's the uh, that's my you. that's my shop. So, like Genki here Gen in Japan. Genki, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Genki. Genki Motors, here in Japan? yeah. Yep. That's sweet. In like Saitama. Oh yeah. The color shift. That's yeah. Sweet. Matt, look. What's up? Evo Wagon MR. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I've only seen like maybe ten Evo wagons. I didn't know they made an MR out of this. Is it a factory MR? No, no. Oh, it's not okay. So it's a nine Evo wagon. Put the wide body fenders on it. Yep. It looks really good. Okay, I've got to see this. So you got a camera here, one down here, one on the back. Another one on the top of that. Help. Oh, really? So you feel? Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Wow. Do you do video and photos or mainly photos? Okay, I'm taking a 4K movies. And oh, okay. from movies. So you can take screenshots. Screenshots. get high quality. It's, wow. yeah, it's like a 8 million pixel. So, which is not very high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even in a nighttime. Yep. Yeah. Not, that's, that's a screenshot. Dang. Do you have any of these on social media? Yes. Where at? Awesome. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We'll just scan the barcode. Sweet. Get a shot of that. These little uh, springs right here stabilize the camera. So as you're bouncing down the road, it keeps it pretty stable. Got them down here as well. And then all the cables go up into here into the controls so you can take photos on all four cameras. Four different phones. Couldn't really tell what engines in that one. First FD spotting here at Daikoku. Oh, there's an AZ-1. Nice. Is yours? Yeah. Sweet. I've, I've seen three now. I've got, I've got a friend in the United States that's got one, and then they had the little Liberty Walk car oh, yeah. converted. Did you see that? Yeah, at the auto salon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. And we got one right here. Yeah. It's a treat to see. I don't see very many. You know? No. <laughs> it's funny, even Japanese people don't know what it is half the time. <laughs> There's not many of them. How many do they make of these, you know? Uh, a little over 4,000. Like okay, so not that many. Yeah. Not that many. Not that many. They're definitely a rare car. With like three years. Yeah. Here you go. Here's a Thanks. sticker for it. What's your name? Caleb. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Nice to meet you. 
Most of these chasers sound so good. I hope that's a chaser. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these names wrong. You guys just have to forgive me. All right, what, what do we got here? Got a, so, got a gift. I, I, I came from uh, Okinawa. I'm based in Okinawa. Oh, sweet. What is this called? So, Omamori. Omamori. It's a charm for uh, for the car. That's so you, sweet. So you put it on the windshield. Really? Yeah. I like that. And then here, I have a souvenir plate. Thank you. I, I have people sign. You welcome. Yeah, I'd love to sign that. <laughs> What's your name? Pat. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I got one, one more sticker left. Let me trade you. Oh, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you so Here, much. You hold it. Yes, sir. Hells yes, you thank go. you sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love these stages here. Oh my god, look! Yeah. Got the 1320 sticker on there already. Come with the RB26 or 25 of these things, and it's a wagon. It's kind of like Nissan's version of the Evo wagon. I dig it, especially in white, of course. What the heck is that? I think it's a Renault? Oh, I'll play. I really appreciate when people leave the uh, model stickers on their car in different countries because it's hard to figure out what's what. Oh, wait a second. Does this have the engine in the back? Does it have the engine in the back? It does? I've only seen two of these. This car comes with, it's a Clio, but it has the engine in the back back here. Well, they do it very often, actually, recently, especially. So what happened is that probably somebody complained for the noise or whatever, no noise, and uh, they decided to uh, call the cops, and the cops are now, okay, guys, stay quiet. That was the announcements before. And now they actually oh. said that at 1210, they're gonna shut it down. <laughs> oh, no. Dang it, and that is... Friday night, uh, and uh, every oh, Sunday we got, night, we got about 15 minutes left. More rarely, but we'll see, because sometimes they do a fake announcement, as in, just to get some people down, out of so here. Leave, all right, we're gonna cross our fingers that they don't shut it down, but apparently things are getting a little too crazy. The parking lot's full, there's no room for customers. People are getting a little, eh, maybe we'll hang out a little bit longer. Oh, first spin car spotting. Yellow ITR. Michael's made it back. Michael's the MVP. He went 30 minutes the other direction to go see a backup spot in case we got kicked out here. So big thank you to Michael Ingram. He's been with us the whole trip, showing us around. He was stationed here for a few years, been a great tour guide. I miss come so enjoy, much. Come enjoy the show. There's tons of cars here still. Wait, no, I need to get B-roll. Sure, I need a sure, we'll see you right now. <laughs> Convertible here, Daikoku, out of a thousand. So good. It's got Lambo doors. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay, cool. Carbon fiber wrapped. Got the little small block in the back. Pretty rad. How's it going? Kyle, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. This is yours? Yes. Hi. How's it going? Kyle. Kyle, I'll nice see you, see you guys in the videos all the time. Henry, Henry, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the Yamazaki-san, and yeah. uh, he's got, of course, as you see here, um, the car here, so I don't know. What, what model What model car is it? Nenshiki uh, toka model no. Altima Sports. 2008 Ultima Sport. Ultima Sport. Does it have like a Chevy small block in it? Yeah, Chevy no small block. Yeah. So it's a three... Uh, 302? 383. Oh, 383. 383 engine in it. 383, yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. How did you get it here? It was, was it, did you buy it in Japan? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, he bought it in Japan, yes. Nice. Internet. You, internet. <laughs> you can buy anything on the internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. How, how heavy is it? Is it very light? Uh, 
どのたあの重さはどのぐらいあるんですか980 okay, so I think that's like 1500 pounds ish. I would have to check. It's been a while since I've converted yeah, that. I haven't converted in a while. <laughs> well, very nice to meet you. What was your name? Uh, Yamazaki. 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 Nice to meet you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Here's a souvenir thank for you. you. Okay, there's a huge crowd over here for something. What do we got? The radical. Ooh, yeah. Like the Ultima Sport, it is very radical. That's badass. It's got a Ford engine in here. I haven't seen too many of these. It's got to be a super light car. Dude, this thing is awesome. Thanks, bro. This Rangers friend. Oh, shit. We got Mr. Samet out here. Hey, guys, what's up? At Daikuku. As we're getting booted, the cops are just starting to roll in right now. Unfortunately, it's time to leave, but we might go to another spot. We'll see. Just keep cruising around and, like, you know. They're normally really chill, like, if everyone's well behaved, they'll just be like, oh, there's no space anymore, so let's all move along and then move to the next spot. So it's fine. No, you're not well, thank you for all the tips and information no worries, as we're Happy preparing to, to get here. It's been very intimidating coming here, but yeah, I can imagine. it's helped a ton. No worries, thank dude. You. Next time, man. Uh, so these are called Naruma. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what was your name? Yeah. What was your name? Uh, Kyle. Kaz. Kaz. Oh, yeah. Nice to, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. My God. You've got a CTSV yeah. wagon? It's here? Yeah. yeah really? Right. How did you get it here? Uh, that's, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We've seen a lot of American cars. I like it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And thank you very yeah. much for the gifts. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> Fantastic. More merch in Japan. Oh, this this is sweet. Yeah, What's man. your name? Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice Kyle. to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, from Ohio. Okay. Station out here? Or yeah, station, station out here. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I think we really need to leave now. <laughs> Rolling style. This is the guy that gave us the gifts earlier. Looking good. CTSV wagon in Japan. <laughs> the 35. This ITR looks so clean. It's got wrapping on the seat. I wonder if it's super low miles. No, 139,000. Oh. Let's get the bike. I love seeing these bikes. So how do you ride it? The handlebars fold out? Yeah, the handlebars fold what? out. And then you screw it in. <laughs> so sad. So these oh. came stock when you bought a when you bought a uh, turbo. Right? Yeah, a Honda City Turbo. These came in the back. What? Stock. And you've wrapped it to look like your Integra. Yeah. That's freaking cool. First kick. <laughs> How long have you had the ITR for? I had this one for about two years now. Uh, just been doing small little things here and there. I have to figure out how to make it different from everybody else. Yeah. There's a lot of ITRs out here. I like the spoon wrap. That's cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. A lot of the GDM stuff on here. Thank you. You have the light-up license plate on here? I do. I, I do. want one of those back in the States. Oh, man. it's You got to you gotta jump through so many hoops. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like anything. You, you might as well just uh, just get a fake one from one of them companies online. But to get an actual one from Japan, you got to like register the car, deregister the car. It's, it's, That's a mess. It's crazy. Have you done much to this or just no, this wrap it up? It's all stock. Nice. Yeah. The yellow valve cover. Yeah. It all looks good together. Yeah. Matt's just doing laps over here. Yeah. You got Hi. <laughs> What'd you think? All, how much horsepower is this? Like three? <laughs> you barely. <laughs> Put around a dyno. Barely. This thing takes off lazy with my skin. Looks like fun. It's a blast. It's 1984. You should honestly try it. Like it's it's, it's kilometers an hour 
and the red, the red mean you're gonna die. 30 kilometers an hour, you might die. Red means that problems. Red. Problems at red. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah, yeah. 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 Thank Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Keita. Kyle, nice hmm. to meet you. Did you get a sticker? <laughs> yep. Oh, you got the keychain too. Yeah. That's awesome. First one of the meat. I dig it. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, they really want us to go now. They've been wanting us to go for a while. <laughs> you can see they literally shut down the entire parking lot here. It's insane. This whole place was packed before. Shut down for business now. Okay, so as you can see now, the entire place is shut down. We didn't mean to shut down Daikoku PA, but it happens very often. Yeah. We had probably 400 cars here. We met at least 100 people. It was amazing. Who's your? What was your favorite car you saw? Not to put you on the spot. What was the weirdest thing? The white Cosmo. The oh white yes, Cosmo. that, that was, was badass. Yeah. I like was... that. Uh... Was it that white Ultima, that Martini yep. liveried Ultima? That thing was, I was not expecting to see a car like that out here. That was cool. The, weird, the weirdest thing I saw was, I didn't know there was a convertible S15 hardtop. There, there, there were four here. of them I saw. Four? There was oh. one with Lambo doors. So oh. that red car 1100 made, I believe. That Autech car, yeah. the red one, so that's an Autech S15. So that's oh. the, so that company took those and made convertible versions of that car. Gotcha. But we really appreciate all the fans that came out. It was amazing to meet people from all over the world yep. here at Daikoku. We'll be back again for another meet. Yep. Maybe tonight, maybe another day. But I want to come here at the nighttime. It's just really tough during auto salon because it gets packed and they shut it down like you just saw. And they shut down the entire place. So that's going to do it for this video. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.